today we're going to go over some cardboard attachment techniques. So I have a few different types of cardboard here. I have cardboard from a box. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit more difficult to cut. I have chipboard, which came from the back of a notebook. So this is a little bit thinner. Easier to cut though, your normal scissors will work well for that. And then I also have some scrap cardboard from a food box, which is very thin, easy, easy to cut, but just not as sturdy as these other two. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is how to use this Clever Cutter tool. So this tool is really great because it's going to help you cut some of this thicker cardboard, but it is, um, it's a safe tool, so that blade is, is tucked inside, it's shielded by this outer edge here so that we're not going to cut ourselves. But what I wanna show you about this Clever Cutter is that yes, you can notch it on, right? If I just put it on the edge here, hold and bring it back, it's going to cut. But the other really, really, really cool thing about this tool is that I can score my cardboard with it. So you'll notice that corrugation on the inside. If I notch this into just one, right? Not both layers, but if I just notch it here and then I cut, I'm now able to create a bend in my cardboard. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. Now let's talk attachments. So the first thing is, when you are attaching a tube like this, most of us want to put a layer of glue around the edge. Um, and that's fine, but what we really need to do is create some surface area. So I'm going to make little notches around the bottom of my tube. And then I'm going to bend them backwards. And I'm going to apply glue on these tabs. A little bit of tacky glue. Okay, tacky glue is great for cardboard. And I might wanna clip this while it dries. So if you have access to clothespins, clothespins are great little glue clamps. So now I wanna show you how to use slits as an attachment method. So if I create a slit in this piece and a slit in this piece, I can then use those slits to connect by sliding them together. So I can also create tabs. So a great way to get a piece of cardboard to stand is to, again, to create a surface area, kind of like you did here. But if I fold this, right, I now have a tab. If I wanna make this extra sturdy, because if I, if I glue it like this, chances are that this is going to fall. But if I make two tabs and then bend them in opposite directions, it's going to, it's just gonna be a little bit more sturdy. This is going to stay up better than if it was just with one tab. So I'm gonna show you how to make some triangle supports now. So let's say that I need this piece of cardboard to stand. Because of its weight, I'm probably going to need some support. So let me show you what that would be. So I want this to stand, but this keeps kind of following this way, but I want this to stand straight up. I could create something back here to help it, help support it, help keep it in place. So I am going to cut a triangle that has a right angle, right? So complete 90 degree angle. I can then use this triangle to support that wall. Okay, so I can also use brass fasteners. So if I am going to be using those, I'm going to need to create a hole. So in order to create a hole, I'm going to take a piece of cardboard from a box, something a little bit thicker. I'm going to place it down and then put another piece of cardboard on top. And then using a pencil, I can press down to create a hole. So I'm pressing and I'm twisting at the same time. I'm kind of 
I'm pressing hard, but not too hard. Okay, so I now have this hole. I can then put this, push this through a little bit more. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. So this cardboard underneath is very important for creating holes. If you do not put a piece of cardboard underneath, you're not going to have the cushion that you need to make a hole. So now I just put this fastener through both, flip it over, and then, okay, and now I have a moving attachment. So I can also tie, so again, I can create a hole by keeping this cardboard underneath, use my pencil to push. So be very careful when you're putting a hole in, make sure your fingers are out of the way. I can tie with a piece of yarn. So if I put my yarn on top, I use my pencil to push through. Okay, so the last thing is a tab and a slot. I've got a tab here. And then if I bend this and create a cut on that bend, it's going to give me a little hole and I can insert my tab into that hole. Okay, 